guys, welcome to another video. My name is David Pindo. They also call me Tips with Dave. And in today's video, what are we going to look at? We are basically going to be talking about Stan Store and System.io. What's the difference? Why, personally, I believe a tool like Stan Store, if you're doing, you know, a market master yourself, right? If you're doing anything for that matter, uh, I'm going to show you how System.io is a tool that I believe is literally for everybody who's getting started, intermediate and advanced marketers as well. But I'm just loving Wednesdays and I love to share about this topic. So I'm going to hop on my computer, share with you, talk to you guys a little bit more about these two tools right here. All right, guys, welcome. Welcome to the video and welcome to the channel. If you're here for the first time, I want to welcome you. If you're here coming back, watching my other videos, then welcome back to the channel. I personally love to put out content. Guys, I do a full-time job. I do affiliate marketing on the side. I started this channel just to share with you guys the tips, the strategies, the things that I'm doing with my affiliate marketing to be able not just to make commissions, not just to to start this journey, this career, if you want to call it, but at the same time, give you and document the journey along the way. So I do have a strategy, which I do follow. And it is a very simple strategy that I started in 2023, actually, and I'm continuing it till today and further on. So if you are interested in that, there's a link in the description of this video. Otherwise, I just hope you enjoy the content of this video and make sure that you do subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified for future videos. I post three times a week, guys, whenever I can, basically Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. These are the days that you get videos from me. And I wanted to share with you about system.io. Now, usually on Wednesdays, I talk about tools, I talk about software, I talk about things that make sense to connect the dots with affiliate marketing. So yes, you need a product. Yes, you need, you need to make sales. How do you connect those two? You need traffic, you need advertising, and then you need a tool to, to automate everything in my perspective because of the fact that I personally have a full-time job. I focus a lot on the automation side. And then you have your actual sales that you're making as an affiliate marketer. Now you can utilize this for digital products. You can utilize this for, for pretty much anything that you are doing online, even an actual store. So let me go ahead and share with you the two tools that I'm going to be talking about is system.io and stand store. Now, why am I connecting these two? Very simply put, guys, in this moment, whether you're looking in YouTube, whether you're looking on TikTok, whether you're looking anywhere, or you come from anywhere, you might have heard of master resell rights. You might have heard of different courses. Right now, there's a little bit of what we call, what I call in the market, in the marketplace, and I've been doing this for some time, so I can, you know, I've seen different trends come and go. It is a trend for now, okay? It is a trend for now. For the last couple of years, it's been gaining momentum. It's reached a point where you have, <clears throat> you know, enough of claims, enough of proof, enough of testimonials, and now it's starting to go ahead. But it doesn't take away the fact that all of these kind of business models existed even before. It's just taking a different shape and form right now, okay? That's pretty much it. That's how I look at it. But within the digital product space, which is what is growing in the last few years itself, you have different softwares that you can use. And some are easy enough. So I'm going to tell you my pros and cons. These are not pros and cons for the softwares or not. That is up to you to make that decision. I hope that I bring this awareness of system that I understand store just to show you guys, you know, what it is. And then you can decide whether you want to get it or not. So that's, I'm just saying that very openly. And if you guys do want system.io specifically, guys, there is a link in my description for the annual plan as well as the free tool that's there. It Everything is going to be shared with you below, but just in case you guys are interested, okay? So this is the awareness of the tool. At the end of the day, they both can serve the purpose. I personally think that getting started with system.io will help you learn a little more skill sets and grow for the long term and so that you don't have to change from one thing to the next thing to the next thing as you go on your journey with uh you know with affiliate marketing and so on and so forth so that's why i personally joined system.io but just to give you guys an idea stand so is a place you guys might have heard of you know when people say go and check out the link in my bio you go to a link tree or you go to a stand store and within stand store itself it's great for creators and a lot of people on instagram a lot of people on tiktok a lot of people are actually all over the place use stand store and it's a great tool to use but the, the the way they do it is that they build digital products. You can easily connect your, let's say you created an ebook or you created a course or whatever it is, you can create that on Stansto itself and just connect your Stripe, connect your PayPal. Obviously, you need to be a business owner to be have digital products. So 
first and foremost, get a business account. I'm not going to go into all those details, but once you're a business owner, then you can actually connect yourself to Standstone and have everything, you know, seamlessly put in place. It's a lot related to like in your bio because, you know, a lot of people are using, but yes, you can have coaching sessions. You can get, you can have your, you know, with, with the coaching sessions connected to your Google so that you don't have to add a different calendar source or different source in general. You're using all of these together. Okay. So it does create a lot of simplicity. I'm just going to show you an example of, you know, a friend, no, not a friend of mine, a fellow marketer that I personally follow on YouTube as well. And, you know, this is his stand store. I just want to show you, he's kept it very simple. He says, start your business. So he has, you know, one of one product where you can start your business right here. And then Digital Wealth Academy, which is a mastery sell rights course. And you can get access to that here. So for example, if I click on get, get access, what are you going to go to within here, it's the course. So it's the sales page, let me put it that way. And it's just the order goes by then you already know the person. So they're not selling you anything like that. They've already warmed you up with, you know, having their content in place and everything else. You put your card details in and, and voila, you, you can purchase it, right? Or you can get access to, for example, if you click here, this goes to a different page itself. So you can even redirect somebody, let's say from a stand store to even your funnel, which you've created with system.io, right? or to a podcast or additional income streams. But I personally, just generally my uh, perspective on this, I would not, even though a lot of people talk about it, I personally would not get started with the stand store initially. Why? Because when you do this, I believe you're not looking at it as an affiliate product, you're looking at it as digital product owner. There is a difference. Me personally, I would prefer to have, if you're an affiliate marketer, I would prefer to have something like System.io where you can just create a funnel and that's it, you know? But that being said, System.io is also quite powerful, guys, okay? So within the, the system itself, just to show you, you easily can connect if I go to, I believe, settings and I go to payment, not pages, payment to, let's integrations by plan, payment gateways right here. You can see right here, guys, that you can connect Stripe, you can connect PayPal, you can connect Mercado Pago, you can co connect Razorpay, Flutterwave, Molly, GoCardless, Paystack, and they are also growing with the amount of you know people that you are basically businesses that you can integrate. But the main one, main two ones which you will see everywhere are Stripe and PayPal, right? So these are the two ones that let's say you can connect to, and this makes so much of an ease of creating a similar store. Let's say you want to create a similar store of fashion and style. You can do that with a page in system.io and have this exact setup done within system.io. And it's absolutely free to get done, by the way, in system.io if you want to go that route. Or you can, you know, get started here and have the rest there. But the thing is that it's just, you know, really very easy to get set up in both ones. It's really up to you whether you want to get started with them. The advantage, in my opinion, and this is personally, obviously I am biased to it, guys, because I do own system.io as a tool and I use it. So I see the potential that's there. And I believe that even a stance for creator could, you know, show you more potential. But just to show you right here, this is the message. This is everything that they've created. They have a really good, I'm, I'm not joking, guys. They have a really good system itself. Plus they have an affiliate program. So eventually your stance to can be absolutely free, right? But I believe that in the pricing costs, I'm not sure how much it costs, but I believe in general, I think it's 90, 29 a month or something like that. Let me just go to FAQs and, and show you guys. Okay, guys, so there's a 14 day free trial. And then I believe that it costs you, let me just check right here. And then after that, it costs you around $29 per month, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, to maintain so it's not an expensive tool to have to be honest it's it's quite a quite an you know affordable tool but at the same time I really want you to understand the the benefits or try to make a decision for yourself which one is better with system.io you can create it what you would need to basically do is create a funnel itself or a website these are the two things that you can do and again you can create a website very very easily okay all you need to do is go here products Oh, sorry, for website, I believe, let me just go, you need to go to blogs right here. And then you can create, you know, for example, I'm just going to show you my blog so that you see it. You can create a website like this where you have this page in as just one page or, you know, you don't need to have anything else. You can just have it as one page exactly like this, guys, literally exactly like this. 
it's not a problem at all. And then obviously when, uh, you know, they get, they want to get started, you can get started. Now they do have templates. So just to show you uh, system that I templates, you can get pretty much anything. Let's say you want to have a digital product really. Okay. You can focus on, you know, creating a uh, one of the, or using one of the templates to create a digital product store uh, within system.io itself and be able to share with that with other people. Now, in terms of the pricing, I believe that system and I was better just because when you get, when you do get started, in fact, let's go to pricing. You'll see that it is, you know, zero to get started. It's absolutely free to get started. And then it would cost you 27 a month if you want to have multiple automations in place and so on and so forth with Stan. So it's about $30 as well. So pricing wise, you're on the same page. It's really, what do you want to get started with? Initially, I believe system that I make sense just because you're building a list, you can build a list and you should be building a list. And that's very easily integrated with system that I Not that you cannot do that with stand store guys, you can do that with stand store as well. Or you can use it as for example, you know, also Andre is using it right here, which is good when you click here, it goes to a funnel. What does he do? He's building a list that way, right? So he puts the email address and then he builds the list in this manner so it is definitely possible to have it that way or you can have everything right here within itself uh within you know you within the stand store itself so if you want it this easy it's great but i know personally people who have taken the effort and with system.io have built similar pages to stand store and use that in case instead because it just you know was costing them nothing to do so there was yes they would save they would need the time, sorry about that, sorry about this confusion, but they would need the time obviously to create the page itself, but they're not spending so much money uh, because they get started for free. They can start to put their link in their bio. And by the way, guys, in, in terms of the templates, let me just show you, you can have a uh, system of IO templates. Uh, let me, give me a second. I wanna show you this so that you see it as well. And you're clear, let's say you wanna have a link in your bio. Uh, I believe there is a specific template. Yes, right here. There are templates right here where you can create link in your bio. So let's say it's a pretty much similar to a standstill concept uh, that you want to have a link in your bio. Let's say this page and you want to have your name and website and everything else and then designs and copywriting and everything else. That is per perfectly possible also with system design. I think the beauty of stand store, to be honest, guys, is mainly uh, the fact that you can add Google Calendar. I don't know if you can do that with system. I, I would need I need to figure that out, but I believe that you can. It's much more intuitive stand store as far as I've seen, as far as I've gone through funnels myself within stand store. I've actually gone through a course within stand store and um, you know, I believe that it does make sense for for a lot of people getting started. What I've seen some marketers do as well, but the, the, you're still paying, right? So what I've seen some marketers do with digital products is that they create a free course within Standstore. And then after that free course, which is like, let's say seven, eight days or whatever, it gives you the, the, the customer value. It's showing them, it's getting them more interested in you. Then from there, they can purchase the course directly within Standstore for their advanced product or whatever it is, which is like, you know, really upselling them completely. And that's how they're making their, their commissions and their money. So it really is up to you on how you do this. Like I said, email marketing possibilities are there in both, automation possibilities are there in both. Both have their pros and cons. System that I was a little bit more chunky in terms of creating the, the stores itself. Uh, stand store is a bit more easier. So. It's really up to you which one is better. I wanted to give you guys the option, show, talk about it here. And if you're interested in learning how I personally am using affiliate marketing, not digital products, affiliate marketing to grow and everything else online, which I think is the best model for a new person, then obviously feel free to check out my course in the description of this video. It's just a nominal course to help you guys get aware, get started and be in the right direction I'm there to support you guys within my Facebook community so that after that you get joined in my Facebook community. And I'm giving a lot of uh, time to my community because of the fact that they are just learning skill sets that don't depend on me or anybody else, but you're learning skill sets that help you market better. And at the end of the day, 
That's what we, what we want to become so that we can go out there and do whatever it is that we have to do and still make an income online and be in charge of our financial goals. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Let me know. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day and keep paving the way for your dreams to come true.